Robin Hansel, 807 First Street Southeast. I'd like to reiterate the public isn't aware that I asked of this council some time back that in order for the golf course to be a true public purpose, that this council seriously give consideration to free golf for the poor. I'd also really implore the city council to keep the, in the budget the monies to renovate our bathrooms here at City Hall so they're fully disabled accessible. There are many who may come here and it would be a shame that they can enter this building and not use the bathroom. That would be an embarrassment on this city. And I might add a potential lawsuit as well. I'd also ask that the council seriously considering sloping every single city sidewalk in the city this year. The easy way to do that, to not incur any more money to find out where these non-sloped sidewalks are, would be to instruct your city street sweeper to make note of them as he's going around sweeping the streets, so it wouldn't cost any extra money, you could easily document that. There is a particular one that's located within a one block proximity of the hospital, a nursing home, and a senior facility at the intersection of 4th Street Southeast and 7th Street, 7th Avenue Southeast. How do I know this? Because I have a mobility scooter and I can't take my little granddaughter, I can't have, I can't get up on that sidewalk without going about, um, I don't know, a fourth of a block to get up onto the sidewalk there. That's, that shouldn't be happening in 2014. Rose Surma came here to one of the budget meetings and stated clearly and emphatically that the Humane Society is in financial distress. And unless they get a substantial amount, an increase in funding of, I believe they asked for like $65,000, they may not make it. So my question is, and I hope it can be answered tonight during this public meeting, did anyone in this council or our city administrator research the cost to the public taxpayers if the city is required to operate and maintain an impoundment facility? If not, why not? I would strongly encourage that you fund this Humane Society correctly. At this time when they're, incre they're having evidently less adoptions, more expenses, something's going on. And I also implore this council to do what I asked at the public hearing for during the comment time during the city budget talks, that at least one council person, I requested actually two, either be a liaison on the Humane Society Board or in some fashion to have a checks and balance to where the money is going. I also want to state that Chris of the Public Access Television and myself are going to go into the Humane Society and film the animals. I will be posting on my blog the videos each week that I take of the animals in hopes that more animals will be moving out of there and finding forever homes. And Chris has said he's going to do that too so that that information, those animals that are impounded, will hopefully find a home quicker and better homes. So thank you, Chris, for doing that. Thank you. Anybody else want to comment on the budget? <clears throat> 